be like, yo, babe, like, look what this, like, man just said. Like, yeah. They'd have to be okay that I'm on OnlyFans. Uh, okay. I mean, All right. Sure. So, um, so I... It, great points, great points. I, I'll say this: I, I agree with you that it was very. It's very interesting because we've been banned off TikTok, TikTok six times, many times, and uh, you know it's it's hilarious how like you know there's violence against men in these videos, but no one says a word. But if I say something along the lines of you know men are leaders, women follow, oh that's misogynistic, whatever, and you're banned, and you're banned, yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, but I will say this, ladies. Um, a lot of you guys, you know, had some kind of contempt with a man playing video games with a woman. It is what it is, you know, because it might lead to the possibility of cheating. I will, or, or infidelity, whatever it may be. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, you know what? Let's go around the room because I want to know what you guys would like in a man. Uh, so can you guys just give us what you would prefer in a man as far as like height and how much they make? So we'll start here. And uh, confident, muscular, what would you like? Go ahead. I mean, I could give you the qualities. Yeah. I'm not going to give you like, oh, they have to make certain amount of money. Well, you're going to have bare minimums. No, but like money comes and goes. Like the, the main point is that like he's smart with his money. And that money to be producing money because no to be honest money <laughs> money ends money oh, ends man. money is not forever if you're smart with your money and you're like but it's disingenuous to not incorporate it into the uh, you know into, into into his attraction level like let's be honest here women do look at a man's income it's very important it's actually a critical component to i mean i'm not attraction. at that point yet i'm only 22. i'm focusing on my career oh In but college. you can't tell me you date a loser no, I haven't talks. honestly as of now I haven't okay. been focusing on dating like like you don't like have to that. Focus on dating but if you were to like think about you got... it, you wouldn't date someone who can't do so anything what, so for you. Someone that's smart. At all. Someone you guys that's were smart the main ones. Money. This, there's a, they have, have to there's have a lot of people that make money. One mic, one mic. Yeah, there's a lot of people that make money, but their priority is to impress others and flex it on the gram and like getting all these things that. You know, like instead of getting asses, you're getting liabilities. You Can know what I'm saying? So, I'm so saying. if I if I have a partner, I want him to be smart with money because money eventually ends. Money is not forever. So you gotta have a mindset that it's like, okay, I want to have my money producing more money and more money, not like getting assets instead of liabilities. Like I don't care about having a yacht. I don't care. There are certain things I don't care. Like I don't I don't live to impress others. Okay, but so since this is gonna is... be this is gonna be a cat fest, so I'm just gonna uh, <laughs> I'm, keep it on. I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna uh, say it nice and succinctly, uh, ladies. When you deal with a certain caliber of man, the reality is he's gonna exercise options. He's gonna have sex with multiple girls. It is what it is. Um, it, th that's just what it is. If you're dealing with a man that's of a certain height, let's say six feet tall, hundred thousand dollars above a year, whatever it is, a high value man, so to speak, with options, especially if he's famous or has any kind of real clout or whatever, he's gonna have sex with other girls. And you're gonna have to share them uh, in the bedroom to some degree. Uh, a lot of women don't <laughs> like hearing that, but that's the truth. So these guys that are like sitting here, like supplicating to their girl, like oh, playing video games and like actually like tolerating her, like berating him like that, and or even assaulting him. These are beta males. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Like if I was playing video games and my girl was like there and tried to say something along the lines of "Who's that girl?" Whatever, I would look her dead in the eye and say, "Shut up. It doesn't matter." You know, period. Because the reality is this, ladies: when you deal with a certain caliber of man. He has the leverage, not you anymore. So if you want a man that's faithful, you're gonna have to deal with a guy that's you know regular. So you think average. every man, you think every man cheats. Men yeah. are as faithful as their options. Yep. Okay. Fresh. Okay. I disagree. That's men don't cheat. I disagree. You disagree? disagree. Yeah. I feel like on, I don't know. I I different people. We come. I mean, everybody's Chris. different. We all came from different backgrounds. Cultures, so. hablar, coño. <laughs> no, we all come from different backgrounds. I wasn't raised. I was not raised the same way I, you were raised. You know, I was raised differently. My family is different than your family. Uh -huh. So I do have different values. I do think I've met multiple people in the world and I don't I don't agree with what you're saying, you know. And as it and if you're saying What do you that disagree with in particular? That you're saying that all men cheat because of their options and stuff like that. Not not really. If if it's a man that's you know, their priorities like religion or family, there's a lot of men that prioritize their family, you know, like they see a woman and they want to build a family with them and, and whatever they do it's the example they want to put into their children you know what i'm saying like everything okay. they do is to put into an example into their into their lineage but so i'll know? be honest with you okay tell me there's always exceptions to the rule of course there, are, there always are so that's why i disagree with you but the exceptions <laughs> don't make the rule okay so explain okay yourself. so so th this is the thing and a lot of women modern day women tend to have this mindset men we have to deal in probabilities Women get the benefit of living in possibilities. Is it possible that you're going to find a man that's a multimillionaire, attractive, tall, good-looking, and going to be faithful with you? Yes. 
10%. But the probability of that happening is very slim. As a matter of fact, to hedge all your bets on it is foolish. The house always wins, ladies. Okay? If we're going to gamble here. Why would you take a low-risk shot? All I'm saying, especially since you live in the United States, if you deal with a certain caliber of man, there's far, few, far fewer of him than there are of attractive girls. Because here's the difference. Men can date down. Men are okay dating a woman that isn't a career woman that doesn't make a lot of money and everything else like that. And as a matter of fact, the more money a man accumulates, the more status a man accumulates, the more they're willing to date down. Right now, you're dating an individual that's significantly older than you. Why? He has status, resources, whatever. But universally, men want young women. Attractive. Studies show this as well. You take a man that's 18 years old all the way up to 60 years old. Men overwhelmingly choose women between 18 to 24. <laughs> that's the uncomfortable truth. <laughs> So if uh, a man no. fights to become high value, make a lot of money, whatever, why would he be monogamous to you? Sexually, at least. There's way more in life than sex. Mm. Okay, so, no, see, so that's no. easy. Hold on. No, 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 no. You think easy <laughs> from your lens. That's easy from your lens Girl. as a woman. A guy, though. You guys got to remember, privilege is invisible to those that have it. You guys have the buffet of men, especially when you're young and attractive. Men don't get that until far later in life. So for you guys, you look at commitment. Your fidelity is shown through not having sex with other men. A man's commitment is shown through providing your resources, taking care of you, whatever. That's why I kind of laughed when you said, oh, how did you feel if you found out that your guy was maybe hooking up with other girls? And with all due respect, you really don't have a choice. He's the one that makes the money. He's the one that's probably higher status. You're dating him for a reason. So it's but not money. Them, them, no, but we don't need them. We date them because we like them, but we don't need them. It's not always about money. It's not, not about money. Like, or their career. It's just like about a pretty girl. You know, having a pretty girl, it's a plus. Having a guy with a fucking, with but, fucking hold money. On. It's a plus. Hold on, hold on, ladies, but. ladies. Just because the money isn't the real reason, it's a serious component as to why he's attractive in the first place. It just is a pretty girl. You're not going to date a bum. Are yeah, you? But, 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 but men and women are very different. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, a man with resources and money and status is rare. A beautiful woman is common. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Look around Miami. There's attractive women all over the place. Okay? And they're fighting for a very small percentage of men. Okay? If I was to go around and you guys all described your dream man, he would probably be very, fairly similar from you know an aesthetic standpoint, high standpoint, income standpoint, whatever. There are things that are universally attractive to a majority of women. Okay? There's a reason why guys that are celebs and everything like that get all the girls. They get all the girls because they have universal traits. However, these universal traits are not shared by many men. They're shared by very few men. So what I'm trying to say is once you deal with a certain caliber of man, he's the prize. It's not you. And women don't like hearing that. I know you said that earlier. I'm the prize, whatever it is. And I kind of laughed a little bit because in the world of supply and demand, simple economics, higher status men are rare. If you want a guy that's going to be faithful to you, date an average man. But most women don't want an average man. An average man makes about... Forty, fifty thousand dollars a year, five foot nine. Most women don't want that. I'm five foot eight. That's ugly. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't <laughs> want Even short children. Me okay, neither. and and that's fine. To have NBA baby. It is completely mom. okay for you guys to have your standards and your preferences. It's fine. But what I am saying is that with a plus, there's always a negative. Yeah. If you want to be masculine, and be a career woman. A lot of guys aren't going to find you attractive. You want to have a high status man that's providing for you, take care of you. It's his rules or the highway. Period. You know what I'm saying? You got to get by uh, on his on his thing. And here's the thing: most guys are going to be honest. They'll just tell you, oh, I love you, baby. I love you. You're the only one. And then they'll go and bang on their chicks anyway. <laughs> so you might it's better to just know the truth. How that, do you know when a man is cheating on you? Oh, there's a bunch of signs. Like, but, what, yeah. would you, what would you say? Like, that's like the first red flag when a man is cheating I, on you. I mean, it, you'd have to book a constant. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, <laughs> but, I mean, that's. I mean, we don't want to get into that because uh, that'll take away from the topic. But the mm -hmm. point I'm trying to make is that I just want you ladies to understand that when you deal with a certain caliber of men, they're probably not going to be faithful to you sexually. Mm -hmm. You might get his love. You might get his provisioning, everything like that. And to be honest, you should be happy with that because men and women love very differently. You can still love your wife and have sex with other girls, no problem. But it doesn't work the other way around. Why doesn't it? Because, <laughs> because <laughs> women are not designed to sport fuck their way through, through life. Okay, but like you said, the man can do it. But like, why can't the woman equally do it? Because we're extremely different biologically. Women are designed to protect their... Their egg for the best man that comes along. Men are designed to spread their seed far and wide. Not really. I'm studying In the polyamory eggs. world, it's different, huh? though. Nothing. You prove my point even further. You've been celibate for how long? Eight months? Yeah. Okay. But that's different. No, it's not. No. You're it's celibate by myself. choice. But Most, it's for a lot of guys, that's by choice. That's a different choice. Yeah. Men, a lot of the time, are celibate involuntarily. Okay. They have, you know? They have no choice. They have no choice. 
So it is, it is, and this is the thing. I'm going to say it. Women, we don't play by the same set of rules. You guys live life on easy mode. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You guys get your money up front. Men have to become. You're born with value. You got to preserve it. Men got to create their value. Mm -hmm. So we don't play by the same set of rules. If I fuck a bunch of girls, I know for a fact that I have to bring value to the marketplace to be able to do that. If you fuck a bunch of guys, you've lowered your value because it's easy for you to get sex. So we don't play by the same set of rules at all. As a matter of fact, you proved my point earlier. You said you wanted a guy that to be in a relationship with you and you had to bring certain things to the table. You need emotional investment. That's okay. Thank you for being honest. Most women do need emotional investment. Very few women can have detached sex. And if they do do it, it's always for a finite amount of time. Women cannot go a long period of time sport fucking guys. Very they just can't true. do it. True. That's true. true. They can't do it. And if they do, eh, they end up fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of women that sport fuck their way through life, they end up got- on antidepressant medication, seeing psychiatrists, yeah. whatever it is. It doesn't affect women the same way. So for men, we can we can have casual sex. For women, it's not the same. That's why I tell women, if you deal with a certain caliber guy, be ready to share them. Yeah. We got two polls on Twitch. Uh, so the first one says... Are, are, are these ladies capping about Instagram DMs? 